Okay, uh, one more for the cage cleaning. We're gonna get this little heather and out of his and clean his up. Uh, I've just been out of town for six days. Uh, took a flight up to Pennsylvania and did some visiting with the family. And this guy, most definitely five minutes after I left, probably did all this. So he was able to sit in his own crap for the whole six days. But um, this one here is a platinum. He is one of my males. He is a very aggressive breeder. And uh, he is definitely one that you have to take caution with. He is actually uh, quite a bit bigger than I would like for a male breeder to be. But uh, he definitely gets the job done. He, he sired uh, two clutches last year for the previous owner. And uh, he's kind of a handful. So give you an idea on how to kind of go about it. Retics are, they each one have their own personality. So you have to figure out uh, the best way to do this. I do have him hook trained a little bit, just kind of nudge him a little bit with the hook and, and let him know, hey, it's it's not feeding time, but we're going to get you out so we can get you out of your shit like a dumbass. All right, let's see how we do. Hello, Percy ass. Yeah, go, big boy. Again, just kind of rub him with the hook, let him know he's not getting fed. And we'll kind of try to swing him around. Actually, I'm going to use the other side. It's very important to uh, point the tooth part away. Once I have him, he's usually pretty good. I hate jinxing myself like that, but as you can see, his uh, gums are swollen a little bit. He is definitely a pusher, but uh, that's all he thinks about is getting with a chick. I don't recommend doing this by yourself, but I kind of know how he acts a little bit, so, and I'll show you here in a minute where we put him while we clean his cage. Super good investment for uh, retic breeders, or maybe not breeders, but people that keep retics, is this little mesh tent. As you can see, I can put him in there while I get his enclosure cleaned out. He's perfectly safe there. You do have to watch, uh, some of them will rub up against that mesh and kind of hurt their lips a little bit if their scales catch on it. but. Uh, Every one of mine haven't had any trouble with that, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, we'll go ahead and pause this, and then we'll get ready to put them back in after I get it cleaned up. Stand by. Okay, now we got his enclosure all clean. Now we have the fun part. Get his big ass back in the cage. Come on, Chris. I call him as if he's going to come to me. I'm in mistake. Come here, big boy. Come on. Again, once I get a hold of him, he's really not that bad. But he is definitely a lover. Get in, big boy. Nice, clean place for you. There you go. There, that's all there is to it. As you can see, he is a happy camper again. Nice and clean. Now, her turn. Yippee. All right, guys, that does it for his cleaning. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, let me know. And uh, subscribe, like, whatever you're supposed to do on YouTube. I don't know. If you don't want to do it, I don't care. Anyway, peace out.